Hi guys, welcome to the second episode of my vegan nutrition series and in this episode I'm going to be looking at calcium followed by vitamin D. Now calcium is also one of the um, nutrients or minerals I should say that cause a bit of co um, concern whenever you say that you're a vegan or you follow a vegan plant based diet um, because whenever people think about dairy they think calcium and if you cut out dairy then people automatically think that you have no source of calcium left. So in this video I'm going to um, prove that theory wrong. So calcium, um, a lot of people think it comes from dairy and dairy is not good and is not protective from for bone health at all. Um, if you think that calcium is good for bone health, we've been taught that society has taught us that for good, strong, healthy bones we need calcium, that milk will give us these big, strong bones that will prevent osteoporosis, prevent hip fractures, um, all of that kind of stuff. But actually, um, if you think about it, in studies, numerous studies, um, all studies practically, the countries with the highest rates of osteoporosis, um, the USA, uh, the UK, westernized countries basically also have the highest intake of dairy now hold on a minute how does that make sense with what society has told us about dairy and strong healthy bones it doesn't if these countries are eating so so much dairy why is their osteoporosis higher than anywhere else in the world that eats low intakes of dairy osteoporosis is almost unheard of in South Asian countries that eat very minimal or no dairy at all. Something to think about. And also, many studies have been conducted which show that hip fracture risk increases. There's a positive correlation between hip fracture risk and animal protein consumption. So yeah. Now, um, the reason for this is that animal protein is acidic. Um, so basically, if you pour acid on a human bone, then it will erode the bone, the bone will start to dissolve gradually. So animal protein is very acidic, and when animal protein is consumed, the acidic load is in the blood, and the body needs to neutralise the acid somehow, and calcium in the bones is the perfect substance to do that so it will pull calcium from the bones um, which actually demineralizes the bones and then the calcium uh, comes out in the urine so that is the whole concept of calcium being leached from the bones so that's why animal protein is bad and yes dairy is bad for bones and that's your reason so um, there is lots of plant based sources of protein that does not cause um, protein, uh, sorry, does not cause calcium to be leached from the bones, it is not highly acidic, it does not cause your bones to demineralise. Uh, plant based sources of calcium include oranges, um, greens like cabbage, broccoli, uh, what else, spinach, kale, uh, basically all green leafy vegetables, very high in protein, uh, soya beans, tofu, figs, blackberries, molasses, what else, tahini, and obviously sesame seeds because they're made from, tahini is made from sesame seeds, um, almonds, chickpeas, flaxseed, I can't remember if I said it, but figs, and um, so that's all natural sources and obviously as well there are a lot of vegan fortified foods um, that contain calcium like plant milks if they're fortified all you have to do is read the label uh, a lot of soy milks are fortified with calcium almond milks, coconut milks, all different kinds of milks um, a lot of mock meats that are vegan or fortified with calcium uh, breads, some cereals so it's really not that hard to get calcium on a vegan diet 
So there you go, there are lots and lots of vegan sources of calcium. You can just forget about that disgusting cow's breast milk that our ancestors have been teaching us to drink for years and years. That's old news now. Um, and here's an interesting fact. Even though milk is pasteurised, every carton, bottle, whatever, of milk contains pus cells. The only reason that milk has to be pasteurised is because it contains pus cells and bacteria. And yes, pasteurisation kills the pus cells and the majority of the bacteria, but when you drink cow's milk, you're drinking dead pus cells and mostly dead bacteria. Believe it or not, you're, this cow's milk that you think is clean is not really. Um, did you know that the Food Standards Agency and the dairy industry kind of thing, rules and regulations, they specify that in order um, for a milk to be able to be sold to the public, it has to contain less than or equal to 750,000 pus cells per cc. Yes, that's right. That milk that you are drinking contain, can contain up to 750,000 pus cells. And average, on average, uh, a, car a carton of milk will contain 3,600, sorry, 363,000 pus cells and about 24,000 bacteria. Yeah. So, maybe it's a no to milk. Okay, and the second nutrient that I wanted to talk about um, in this same episode is vitamin D, because if you don't know, vitamin D helps aid calcium absorption in the body, so the two, the vitamin and the mineral, kind of go hand in hand. Um, they're both very important in the diet. So, sources of vitamin D on a vegan diet are first and foremostly sunlight, the action of sunlight on the skin, um, whenever the sunlight hits the skin uh, there's a whole process, I can go into it more, in more detail in another video if you're interested once again, um, but it causes your body to absorb and produce vitamin D, um, so that's a non dietary source. Uh, dietary sources of vitamin D, um, mushrooms that have been exposed to sunlight because they also can absorb vitamin D um, and therefore contain, produce vitamin D within their little bodies. Um, so sunlight or if they're exposed to UV light then the same thing happens. Um, what else? So, um, fortified um, plant milks, a lot of them are fortified with vitamin D, so all you have to look out for is fortified plant milk, cereals, breads, um, just a lot of things, mock meats, a lot are fortified with vitamin D. And also the UK Department of Health um, is recommending that people of all ages, of whatever kind of diet you follow, um, take vitamin D supplements, so vitamin D deficiency is not exclusive to vegan. Okay, so I'm going to finish this video here because I don't want these uh, vegan nutrition episodes to be too long. I just want them to be short and snappy and to the point and easy to watch. So thank you for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my videos to see the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.